guys, it's Lena from Studio R12. And if you are looking for some gift ideas from the crafter, painter, or stenciler in your life, then this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the top 10 things I would love to receive as a stenciler this year. So be sure you stay tuned to check this out. in my big Santa bag, all the items I want to get this year for Christmas. So the first thing ooh, I have here is palette paper. The artist in your life, no matter who they are, will love palette paper. The reasons I love palette paper are because it's, of course, quick and easy cleanup. And I like to mix a lot of colors. So sometimes when I mix paint, I end up making a big mess, especially if I'm mixing a big background color because you need more of it, you know, you don't have to color match. So you can mix your big paper, tear it off, and then you have two palettes ready to go. There's no washing in between like if you had a reusable palette. So that's the first thing I would love to receive. Let's see what else is in my bag. So what I have here in my lap, I would call embellishment pieces. So first of all, that's gonna take knowing the artist in your life, whether they like to embellish with something like raffia. This is really great, especially if you like that fall look or the rustic look, raffia is a really good tool to have. Use it to like wrap. And then I've got some different twines here. These are so great. They can really jazz up a project. They also work really well as hangers for a project. So if you just have something you could drill little holes in. So I've got a couple sizes here of twine that are really handy and you can pick these up just about anywhere craft stores um walmarts even some harbor stores are going to have things like twine and rope so you can get this kind of thing for your crafters so they have things on hand to really jazz up their projects and then i have a couple items here you can find at studio r12 that qualify as embellishments as well that i just kind of want to share with you i have lots of wooden embellishments here at studio r12 this is just a little snowflake i found that i picked up we have snowflakes we have spider webs we have bats we have so many things and these are actually my favorite type of embellishment to use um i love painting these a color and gluing them on my projects it's one of my very favorite type of embellishment so check these out on our website again they're just little wooden embellishments and then the final type of embellishment, especially if you have a stenciler that's your crafter, or if you have a brush artist who loves to create things with sharp lines, these are still good tools to have. We have things in this pack like, I'm gonna open it so we can look through some of them together. I know that there's a leopard print in here. There are definitely some butterflies, all kinds of things. Ooh, these are still like, so cool yeah okay so a leopard print that's awesome we have chicken wire and i'll tell you that this is so popular and then ooh, stars and checks we've got so many things i mean this is super set of embellishment stencils that you can check out on studio r12 also studio r12 stencils when we do sets like this they're engraved with these holes so they're really easy for storage you just get a binder clip and clip them together super simple so just try to know your crafter or maybe they don't use any of these things and you could get them some a little bit of everything and help them kind of expand their scope all right my third thing is texture tools okay so i got this pack of sponges from studio r12 now there's lots of different types in here um, we've got some natural sponge and we've got these sponges here. These are all great for adding texture to your background. These round sponges are actually really great for waxing and finishing your projects as well. So these kind of have lots of purpose. And then this is the sticky, we call it sticky tape here at Studio R12. You can lay it on your project, paint over it, peel it up. If you have an artist in your life, they'll know what to do with this, I'm telling you. Or they can check out some of our YouTube videos. I'm sure we've used it in some of those. So. These are two really awesome texturing tools that I would love to have. All right, the fourth item that I would love to receive is a sanding block. I'm gonna be honest with you, I love sandpaper and I love sanding discs, but when you're sanding on big projects or you're really trying to strip and work paint off like I like to do for the techniques that I do a lot here at Studio R12 and at home when I'm painting as well, 
I want something that's a little bit more comfortable in my hand. So I usually gravitate towards these. This is a 3M right here, the 3M sanding block. You can buy lots of different brands, but the 3M is actually my favorite because it has a curvature to it on this side, if you can see that. So it fits really comfortably in your hand. It gives you good grip and there's good weight behind it. So that's why I really like this 3M sanding block and I would be absolutely thrilled to receive one of these 3M sanding blocks in my stocking this year. Next on our list, the fifth item I would love to receive is the double stick repositionable tape. So tape like this is gonna be really handy, especially if you have a stenciler in your life. So if you think about those embellishment stencils that I was showing you earlier, those are stencils you're typically moving all over your board or you're creating a pattern with. You're gonna want tape like this. You stick it on the back and it's sticky enough that it holds your project down so it doesn't wiggle around on you but also it's repositionable. So it's not gonna tear into your background and it's gonna stay sticky over time. It's also really great if you have like a liner project, you've got like strips or lines or plaids, you can use it for things like this to help your stencils stay in place. Okay, the next item that I have here for you is multi-purpose sealer. This sealer is great for a lot of things. Again, it's a multi-purpose sealer. And this one's from DecoArt. It's a personal favorite of a lot of artists here at Studio R12, the DecoArt multi-purpose sealer. So I have featured it in this video. We use it for so many things here because it's multi-purpose. Like you can use it to seal your tin. You can use it to seal your projects. It's just a really great item to have on hand. So be sure you get this for the crafter in your life. The seventh item on our list is I'm just gonna, it's my favorite. <laughs> it is, I'm gonna call it, it's a new product on Studio R12, Lena's Must Have Brushes. So this is a new brush set that I have put together for you guys that are all of the brushes that I think you have to have to have art success, right? So I've got quite a few brushes here. Obviously stenciling brushes are my favorite because I'm a stenciler, I love stencils and all the cool things they could do. So I included three dome brushes here. These are special. They're kind of the key to stenciling success. I think you need so many of these big dome brushes. I tried to put way more in this pack <laughs> and they said I had to tone it down. So I'm giving you two. If you purchase this pack, I'm giving you two of the big brushes. And then I'm gonna give you one of the medium sizes as well. One of the smaller sizes, I guess it's not really medium, but it's in the middle. And then this is our oval glaze brush and I love our oval glaze brush. You can slip slap with it. You can paint trim with it, to be honest. It's just a super awesome brush to have. It's tapered in all directions as I play with it. I'll show you, it's tapered in all the ways. So it's really good for sealing underneath projects on like tin, things like that. Um, it's gonna make sure your project stays without texture, but gets nice mix, right? So super good. And then probably my personal favorite brush. I don't know. All of these are my favorite brushes. That's why I put them in the set, apparently. <laughs> Keep saying that. But I love spatter. I love to spatter on my projects. I think it's super fun and it dresses them up really nice. And this is the brush you need to spatter. And actually spattering with these two brushes together is my favorite combination because this handle has really good weight to it and it has the curvature here. So if you're trying to do controlled spatter, you have a really nice anchor. So I really love using these two brushes together to spatter, just fun tip. Um, so yeah, these are the brushes you'll get in Lena's favorite brushes on that brush set on Studio R12. Okay, item number eight in my bag here is the Clapham's Beeswax. I absolutely adore wax as a sealer for just any project, I use it quite frequently. But the one that's really special to me is the Clapham Beeswax. It's not one you can find anywhere. You do have to order this online. We do sell it on Studio R12, but it's a special wax that's food safe. And it's also safe around small children, of course, because small children put things in their mouths. So it's a wax that I like to have on hand for my house. You can use it to refinish salad bowls. You can use it if you've painted on a wooden cutting board as like for your kitchen or as a gift for someone. You can seal over it with this. I've used this on galvanized tins that I plan to put real food on. Pretty much anything this wax works great for, but the key about this wax is that it's food safe and it's also then going to be safe around your kids. 
The ninth thing on my list this year for Christmas is the palette knife. So palette knives are a really great tool to have because they do a lot of things. They're a really multi-purpose tool in my book. I use them for so much. Um, from using them to mix your colors, moving them to move colors around on your palette paper. They have lots of uses just in that. But also, you can use them as a tool to create texture in your backgrounds or to create streaks of paint. So I really love them for that purpose. I tried to include them in the brush set and they wouldn't let me. So if you're buying the brush set and you're buying tools for your crafter, this is a tool they need as well. This is, again, a palette knife. Super handy to have. And number 10, super cool tape here for you. So painter's tape. I know that sounds so simple, but the Scotch painter's tape, this is a flexible painter's tape and it's really awesome. Again, the brand is important. This is that Scotch 3M painter's tape. It's the green tape. It's flexible. So you can use this to create lines. These thick, this thicker tape is going to give you thicker bands and things like that. But the real star of the, the tape show is this guy right here. Now we do have this on Studio R12. Super fine line. Can you see how skinny that is? Oh my gosh. Super cool. And I want to just show you, I did a little sample. Look on the back of my palette here. If I could hold that up. Look at back here on that loop that we created. You can also use thin tape like this to tack down your stencils, of course, but you can use it to create plaids and designs in your background. Super handy to have. Again, this is hard to find, so you can check it out on Studio R12. Um, it's, it's kind of a tape, I hadn't seen it until I started working here. So it's a tape that I learned just how useful it was, creating lines like this, especially if you have a brush artist. You know, lining things off, super important. And who doesn't love a little bonus content? I actually could narrow it down to just 10 guys. So I'm bringing you two additional things that I would love to receive as a crafter. So if you have someone in your life who's a big fan of Studio R12, maybe they even directed you to this video. This is the gift for them. We have tumblers in all sizes. We have the big, we have this size, and we even have wine tumblers that come engraved with the Studio R12 logo because they're such Studio R12 stencil fans. And, the last thing I have for you is an apron. If your painter doesn't already have an apron, I'm telling you, they protect your clothes. They give you so much protection as a person when you're painting. So be sure you get the crafter in your life an apron that they wouldn't mind getting paint on. So as a crafter, I have been crafting for most of my life. Um, I picked some things today that I would love to receive from my friends and family so that I could continue and make my crafting experience a dream. So if you're new to our page, I just want to introduce you to Studio R12. We are a stencil company, but we don't just sell stencils. We also have tools, tips, tricks, and tutorials on our YouTube channel. So if you are interested in videos like that, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified as soon as we post new content. <laughs>